There's lots of talk about defensive systems these days, Brian, and Swoop has in such right, but as Graham Taylor's pointed out regularly over the last few weeks, it's about having defenders in certain parts of the field and allowing other defenders to go forward. And Clayton Batmore is a good example of that at the minute. He's up there in the attacking third most of the time because that's where the game's taken him. Here's Webb, though, for United. Here's another defender coming forward, Irwin. Crossed in, and a good cross in there, a flick on! And it was Robbins there with the header, and Grobelar had to be alert. Webb. Alistair, Bruce, who starts a three-match league suspension after this game, but of course is eligible for United's first appearance in Europe next Wednesday. First appearance for some time. Against the Hungarian side, Pekshi Munkash. Just a reminder to you that that's a game also that you can see live on ITV at 8 o'clock on Wednesday night. European Cup winners cup, Manchester United. McLeod. Oh, just wide. Robola straining to get to that one. Barnes to McMahon. John Barnes again. Lovely ball played there towards McMahon, played in there! Mm. Beardsley! <laughs> 11 minutes gone, and Liverpool strike. And Beardsley all smiles is the man who does it. Great run here by Barnes, and a lovely ball played in. McMahon was onto it, it was almost in danger of being an own goal there by Steve Bruce. That's the killer ball. And then McMahon adding to it, Bruce in trouble, Sealy could only half stop it, and Beardsley finished it off, and Liverpool are ahead by a goal to nil. Claire. Towards Webb! Oh, yes. Oh. Off the crossbar! What an escape there for Liverpool. That silenced the top for a moment, as Webb stole in... It was so close to the equalising goal. Out. Whelan. Rush. Barnes. Rush! <laughs> <laughs> you just wonder, Laurie, season pro that uh, Ian Rush is, whether he just has this record on his mind and one that he wants to shake off, never having scored against... That is lovely one too, yeah. Manchester Watch United played really well. One too. A lovely ball by Barnes. Yeah, a lovely flick. And then a very uh, uncharacteristic uh, finish by Ian Rush. 19 games he's played against Manchester United, never scored. Robbins. Hintz. Robbins to Phelan. Bruce. Robillard losing it, Webb with time to tee it up, and a little toe poke that had Robillard grabbing it again. Whelan now for Liverpool. Houghton. McMahon. Delightful ball again by Barnes, McMahon in for Beardsley! That makes it two! Barnes and McMahon are heavily involved again. And Beardsley where he had to be when it really mattered. McMahon's run once again. And Beardsley side-putting it past Seeley. Rush to Barnes, back goes Phelan, in goes Beardsley, but Ince got the better of him, but here's Houghton. Great stuff by Liverpool here. They might come for Barnes. Here's his number three. Ah, uh, fortune favours the brave. Because the first shot by Stevie Nicol could have gone anywhere, quite honestly. This is sheer persistence. Had a little look up, swung his big boot, and up gets John Barnes, proving that he can do everything, John. Good header, planted right in the corner. Well, I 
how can a team be free down after contributing so much to such an attractive first half? Just time to greet a couple of players who would normally expect to be playing here. Alan Hansen recovering from a knee operation. Gather he's watching from home. Be a few weeks yet before Alan is back in the reckoning here. And Brian Robson, of course, stood out of the Manchester United side. It'll be quite a few weeks yet before Brian is fit and raring to go. But we send greetings to both of them as Hughes puts it in. And a good header. And it might go. The player was in there. Robbins was in there. A great header by Webb. And United so close to pulling a vital goal back there. Here's the winning the challenge against uh, Irwin. Rush. Wheeler. McMahon. Rush. And Barnes. Back up. Blackmore. Hughes. Ince. Webb. To Irwin. And Nicol under no great threat. And Grobola seeking an explanation for that conceding of a corner. And it gives the poor beleaguered Manchester United fans behind that goal something to shout about and something maybe to look forward to. A very deep one there towards Hughes. Takes it nicely on his chest. Beautiful play there by Hughes. Knocked away by Hussein. Ince playing it wide for Irwin, and again Hussein is there. Rush away on his own. If he looks hard enough, there's always support, and that time it was Beardsley and now Burrows. Good cross there towards Rush! Oh, oh. Wonderful stuff, isn't it? And I think... If we could have gone back far enough, I think Ian Rush possibly got away with a little bit of control with his arm when he turned on the centre circle there. But uh, it all finished up with a good cross from Burris and a powerful header. He must think he's never going to score against Manchester. Beardsley. Canny little ball there for McMahon. Good strong running by him. Rush coming back. Superb passing movement, this Barnes. Now will they finish it off to Houghton? Well, everything was right there, perfectly so, except the finish. What a move, Norrie. Well, this is what the old coaching manual is called third man running. It starts off with a nice ball to somebody who comes off, lays it back, and uh, while that's happening, there's another man, in this case John Barnes, is on the move, and he got the perfect pass. It's just a pity from the purest point of view that it wasn't finished with a better shot. Good check there, the quality. <laughs> McMahon to Barnes. It's gone past Irwin. Beardsley and Rush are both waiting. And in the end, it's happened. Infinitely more difficult chance there by Ray Houghton than he had a moment ago, and he almost made that one count. Again, terrific work by John Barnes. A lovely, delicate floating cross. It was a little too far for the men in the middle, but not for Houghton. And Bruce, in fact, kicked it off the line. That's what makes these clubs so great, isn't it? Supporters are with them through thick and thin, and uh, players should be pretty proud to pull the shirts on for these clubs. Wheeler doing well there. McMahon slipping it forward to Beardsley. Tried to get Rush going again. A free kick very quickly taken there, but Beardsley's onside! Well, I must say, my initial feeling was that Peter Beardsley would be offside. Uh, of course, we have got the new rule this year, but if you're just even level, and the 
you can't see it from that angle. He's still on save, and he makes it look easy. <laughs> we, we assume he's going to score there. That's never in question. It's whether he's offside, but he still has to take it up. Very quickly taken free kick. And you see his Ray Houghton delivered it, even before Peter Beards had got it. Ray Houghton looked across at the linesman, you know. He felt that it might have been offside. We can't tell from where we are. He's not bothered. He's got free. What about that Kenny Dalglish, she says. Who we play next week? Well, I'll be on the bus.